how do you go about forming rates for a shoot? I'm aware of shooting for free, just not sure of when to start charging. That's a great question. Um, once again, like as far as charging, I, I, don't, I don't care what nobody say. You got to be confident, right? You got to be confident, right? You got to be confident. Yeah, I'm gonna say it three times because it's that it's that important. Uh, so you got to go with what are you comfortable with charging, right? So where you got to be honest and real with yourself. Like, where are you at with photography? Did you just pick up a camera and you don't understand the ins and outs yet? Do you know how to pose people in, in, in consistently good, get exposed images that are exposed good and uh, in focus? So you have really have to judge your skills and where you're at and your confidence. And I feel like that's like kind of that base of like knowing what to charge when you're just starting out. I'm talking about like brand new beginner. Um, and you got to go with something that you're comfortable with. The thing about pricing is it can change just because you charge something now. I don't mean you got to charge that in the future, right? For our weddings, we've always, we book a couple and then we uh, raise our price. We didn't start out at like 3000 some dollars or whatever. It was a thousand dollars. And as we booked a couple, we kept going up. Same with portraits. We started out, uh, this is embarrassing, $40 shoots, right? Now we book portrait sessions, 500, 600, whatever it is right so it's it's about time giving it time building your confidence building your skills to produce um in a way to where you're confident to charge and you're like okay I i'm confident with this um boss said what price point window would you say is fair in your opinion for a beginner without underpaying yourself for the amount of work it takes until the assignment is complete <sighs> that's a great question uh for a beginner I'm talking when I say beginner, and I don't want to people to be confused. I'm talking about somebody who's literally just starting out. Um, I charge forty dollars. We charge me and my wife when we just started out. Did we stay at that? Stay at that? No. You can go to our website, see our prices. Um, they're literally completely different. That is what we felt comfortable with charging, right? And honestly, our photography was not good, and we made a lot of mistakes, which we probably shouldn't have even been charging yet. To be honest, um, I think there's no reason why you can't charge a hundred plus dollars, 150 plus if you're just starting out. Like if you can take legit good images. And when I say that, I mean, it's, it's in focus and it's exposed, right? And the posing is, is acceptable, right? You can get people in a position they need to be in, whatever. Um, it's no reason why you can't be charging over a hundred dollars. That's just me throwing a number out there. Um, all right, y'all. So before I end this video, I wanted to hop on and just kind of further explain on some of the stuff I touched on. Those clips were actually from a live stream, but I know everybody doesn't, you know, watch the stream. So I wanted to upload those clips, but I want to add on to what I was saying. All right. So first off, I just want to clarify that with those tips, I was speaking directly to beginner photographers. So these are photographers who are just starting out. Uh, maybe they're just starting to charge and they don't have, you know, a lot of work. So they haven't really built a big portfolio yet. Now you can see in that first clip, I was talking a lot about confidence and I really wanted to touch on that because I feel like as a beginner photographer, a new photographer who's just starting to charge, we really struggle with confidence. This is something that I struggle with, uh, which can play into your pricing, right? Which is why a lot of us start out at super low prices is because we're not confident, um, you know, with charging more than the price that we said we wanted to charge, right? Like I said, I charged $40 when I just started out and part of that, a lot of that had to do with our confidence. You know, we seen other photographers and we didn't feel like we could charge, you know, like more than a hundred bucks, $150 because we just, we weren't there yet. And I think that's where a lot of photographers are who are just starting out. Um, their pricing is a reflection of mainly their confidence and their skill level. So in that phase, you're really trying to build your skill level. You're trying to build your confidence. So, you know, I'm not saying to charge very low just because of that or that kind of justifies it but i do think it's important as a beginner to you know get those small wins with your pricing like i said you don't have to stay at a low price i don't recommend that to any photographer i never say that in my videos or anything about just staying you know at a very 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 cheap price but i do think it's important to build your confidence and build off those wins like for us, for for example, once we started to book a lot of people at that $40 rate, we raised to like 100, 150. Once we started to book people at that rate, then we raised to like 200, 300. 
um and now we're charging like 500 plus for portraits so you know these are things that kind of build upon each other and i think it's important to build your confidence in um you know over time don't stay at that very cheap price but continue to raise those prices as you you know get better at your craft and also as you get more confident i just want to kind of clarify that you know pricing is is very tricky this is a question that i get a lot i think this is something that a lot of photographers struggle with even experienced photographers it took me a long time to really hone in like my pricing and i feel like i'm still trying to figure it out six years later so it takes time and you know in those beginning stages i think a lot of us aren't confident and it's hard to just you know you hear some people say just just you know start at this outrageous amount but it's like how can you do that when you don't even believe in it right how can you do that when you're not even confident in it right i feel like it's it's a better strategy or just a better way to approach it of of you know starting at something that you're more comfortable with and building upon that as you get those small wins which is going to build your confidence that's how i got the confidence to raise my prices when i would book at that higher price point hopefully that makes sense i feel like i'm kind of rambling at this point but hopefully you got some value from this video i do plan on doing um you know like a full breakdown of pricing and more pricing videos in the future because i feel like a lot of uh newbie photographers really struggle with that but if you got value from this be sure to hit that like subscribe to the channel i post new videos every single week i will see y'all in my next video Peace.